want to show you something that I like to do. Um, I buy spices in little larger, sometimes larger than this, containers. Well, for things like ground cumin, you don't use that a lot. Um, I don't. So what I like to do is save these little uh, juice bottles, you know, the really small ones, and I'll put the cumin in it or other spice in it until it's almost filled up, leaving me enough room to put an oxygen absorber in there. And then I'll seal it up, pop that in my pantry, and that'll stay longer in that bottle because I'm not using it as much and it has that oxygen absorber in there and the lids are pretty solid tight so there's no leakage. The way you can figure out if the bottles will leak and get air in them or water or whatever is you take and you put your lid on, fill your sink up with some water, and you put that bottle down underneath there. If you squeeze on it and bubbles come up, that means it has a leak. That is not a usable thing to keep oxygen or moisture out of. There you go. Tip number one. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to fill that jar up. Bottle, excuse me, bottle, not a jar. Get it all down in there. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, I think I did too much. Maybe not. Okay, that's about right. So what I'm going to do is just tap on it a little bit to let it settle. Now this bottle has been cleaned and bleached to sanitize it. So it's a very, very clean bottle. Looks like I can put a little bit more. Because we still want to leave room for an oxygen absorber. The more I tap, the more room I make. I know, it's annoying. I'm sorry. Okay. Alright, that should about do it. So let's get an oxygen absorber. Alright, that should about do it. So now we're going to put an oxygen absorber in there. So I have a 300cc oxygen absorber. And what I'm going to do is just roll it up, nice and easy like that. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it right in the top there. Then I'm going to take my lid and I'm going to put it on nice and tight, just like that. And then next what I'll do is I'll get a label and I'll put on their ground cumin, the date that I packaged it, and then put it in my pantry. And this will save for much, much longer than is if you just had it in the regular jar, wide open, all the air getting to it, sitting on the shelf in your cupboard. See, so yeah, I've got plenty in there to use for whatever cooking that I use, but I also have a long-term backup that will store for, for a long time. That's it. Okay, there you have it. These are the ones I've done today. And what I'll do is in the pantry with all my other food items. When I run out of the ones that I have above the stove, then I'll go to my pantry Pull these out and then there you go I've got extras and they're gonna last for a long time but I used a 300 cc oxygen absorber which is probably a little too much but that's what I had on hand that just means less oxygen typically herbs and spices last one to two years in their original packaging and that's with the oxygen being able to get to them um, so on and so forth but when you package them with an oxygen absorber in an airtight container or bag, like you could use the seal meal <clears throat> and put them in bags if you like, I just chose to use these little bottles because it's a little more convenient. Um, and I'm not throwing it in a landfill. Using the oxygen absorbers extends its life two to three years longer than if you just had it sitting in its original package air and moisture could get to it, you know, so if you don't use something 
that often, but you like to buy in bulk, this is another option. You could as well use uh, the Mylar bags, you can use the Sealy Mill bags, you could put them in canning jars and use the um, attachment over here like I did in some of my other videos with dehydrated foods. There's many, many different ways to prolong the life of dried, the dried foods like the herbs and spices and um, chocolate chips, you know, pasta, things like that. I just had these bottles, you know, that we drank the juice out of and I thought, yeah, that's great. So I used them, loved it, still using them. And I figured I'd make a video and suggest it to you so maybe you could, you know, use bottles like this or you could surely use the, the bigger bottles. This is a heavy duty bottle. It's really, really hard and the lid's real tight. Like I said, you can do the airtight um, test in the water to see if yours is, is, you know, airtight enough and instead of throwing stuff in the landfill. All right, folks, that's it for today. See you next time. Hey, move over. I want to finish up too.